What's up guys, KG Trading here. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna be going over why um, I haven't been really uploading lately, like the past month or so, or past two months, and a couple of the trades I've taken, and then I'm also gonna show you my spreadsheet that I created that kind of tracks all my trades. So, it makes it a lot easier for me to see um, where I need to improve and what I need to do and what I need to not do. Uh, okay, so first off, I'm going to talk about why I haven't been uploading lately. Um, as you know, I have been I was doing almost daily uploads on the Paper Money day trading account. But um, during one of the videos, they, ch they changed the rules apparently that you need $500 in your real money market account, the one I'm on right now, um, or else you don't get real live quotes in your Paper Money account. So in the middle of the, in that video, um, it switched to a 20 minute delay, um, which means the charts are delayed by 20 minutes, but all the quotes like you could buy and you could see, um, like volume and whatnot as live. So it, it messes it all up. So anyway, I haven't had $500 in my, um, my live, my real account, um, was trying to work my web trading there, but I had some big losses along the way. So I'm only around 200 and. Well, you guys can see right here. I'm at 200 and... Oh, that's not it. Hold on. I'm fine. 213. Because I just made money today. It was at like 340 uh, a couple weeks ago. But I tried to play some options and that didn't work out. So, um, instead of trying to do paper money, I'm going to be doing live trades. They're not going to be big. But it's still trading. A couple of shares here and there. Um, I'm going to be doing maybe swing trades and definitely going to be day trading, um, getting portfolios maybe for a couple, like maybe a month out, especially on like the airlines that was working out pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go over the trades I took today. I'm going to switch you guys over to my other two, as you can see. Um, so I played C, well, this stock, yeah, I played today. Okay. So CHCI. So let me put them on. THCI, oops, zoom out. Um, I, sh I have show trades on, it should be up. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, it's not showing me where I got in, so let me just see why. Show trades is on, it's not showing me. Okay, well, we'll move on to another one. Anyway, I got in with um, a share, I think. A couple shares, three shares you can see right here. Um, I'll show you. I got with three shares somewhere. I'm, I don't remember where because it's not showing me. Um, but I lost a dollar seventeen, so not a big loss, obviously on on my account, but still a loss. So, um, hopefully show trades come up so I can analyze what I did wrong and show you. Um, second one is C A L V, which is in my scanner. I can sh I can show you that my scanner is right here. Um, CILV, just pull them up, it will show you. Um, I played them right here. Why isn't show trades on? It's on, but it's not showing me the trade it took. As you can see, I made, I made, uh, $12.93, basically on three shares. The fourth share I did lose. Um, but, so, I'll, I know how I, I traded this one. So, um, this big red candle, the range on it, um, obviously opened at 39.28 and it closed at 35. So about a $3 bar right here. Um, I was watching them, you know, they were uptrending. I was waiting for a pullback and they were pulling back. I was going to get in here. They had five seconds left before this candle closed. Um, I was watching, I was about to get in. I had it on the buy market with, uh, three shares and then at three seconds left and then bang. All the way down here. Um, two one, they closed the last second in this candle. I got in at two ninety or two ninety one ish, right here at the bottom, basically. Three shares in. My stop was going to be below this low, or if they kept making lows, I would have just got out for maybe a dollar or two loss. Um, and it worked out pretty nicely. Normally, I don't do um, the trade called. It, basically, this is called um, catching a falling knife because. You never know how far it's going to go. 
I mean, obviously they're super gapped up today, so this could have been bad. It could have came, could have came all the way down, but I would have had to type stop on it right around 34, so it wouldn't have been that big. But anyway, so I got in a 3590 and rode it all the way up, and I sold them right here in this candle. Um, for forty dollars and fifty cents is basically where I sold them right here because they they went up really fast. I was up like fourteen or fifteen here, and they came back and they were kind of just consolidating right here. So I just sold them because I thought you know that's it's a lot for them to do. <clears throat> uh, sorry for the background noise. Um, so yeah, I sold them. Obviously, they kept going. I could have made some more money, but it's okay. I locked in. I was up over thirteen dollars, and then the um, other trade I took. I wish it would show me where I got in. It's very annoying that it's not showing me um, my trades because it's odd, but it's not showing me. TD Ameritrade just sucks, you know. Like I don't get why it's not showing me. Drop a comment below if you think TD Ameritrade sucks. Okay. So, um, I know I bought a share around here and I sold it in this candle because it was coming down. I didn't feel like losing my money, so I just sold it for like maybe 50 cents loss. I don't know exactly. Um, we'll find out in a minute once I go to my spreadsheet. So I'm going to plug them all in and show you how I do this. And it, ca um, it calculates all my losses and percents and everything for me. Um, but I still have one more stock I did trade this morning. Um... Actually, I traded it last night. NXTD. So, click them in my positions um, watch list. I'll pull them up on this monitor like that. I bought them when they were like a dollar fifty, I think exactly. Yeah, dollar fifty two. I'm still holding them. Um, let me go back. Um, a couple of days. I bought them yesterday because they gapped up. And then I bought them right here yesterday morning. And I kind of held them. I was in school at this time, so I wasn't really watching them. But I had a I had a stop loss below these lows, so I would have lost um, like a buck really. But it's been working out so far. So it's kind of like swing trade. Um, I might sell it soon if it comes back in the highs. But that's all right. Trade's working out. It's kind of just like a swing trade at this point. Um, up a little bit, not bad. So that's all the trades I have currently. Um, oh my god. This stock just skyrocketed on my scanner. It's up 352%. 354 now. I didn't trade this one today. The one I made most of my money on is this one. And they're just tanking right now. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to pull up my um, spreadsheet. So I, I just called it 21 account positions. I've started since the first day of the year, and you know, this is all my trades so far. Okay, I don't know really how to make an actual chart of PL, like to show what I started with, and then, you know, since I'm down 115, you know, it's not good, so it should be going down, but that's as best as I can do. Don't really look at this, it's just a crappy graph, really. Um, so let me explain how I get all these numbers. They are completely correlated to my account. So my account balance is exactly the same as on um, TD Ameritrade. So I write everything down and it all adds up. And I factor in the commissions. This is big because options, obviously. Um, TD Ameritrade does not factor in your commissions to your PL on the year. So I would actually only be down like 70 on the year around there, but I add the commissions in because that's money out of my account, you know? So this is what I started with this year. Um, this is my current account balance, not good. Um, my current PL year to date, negative 46%, very bad because options just didn't work out. They were bad trades. And I spent this much in commissions, so. Um, yes, so. Today's date is 2-9-21, so you, all I do is this, I go 2-9-21. Um, I gotta pull up the trades on my phone. 
Give me one second. I pull up the orders on my phone. It's a lot easier. Okay, hold on. So my last trade was a spy call on 2-4. Yeah, so I need to add a couple trades in here. So actually, so on the 5th of February, I traded AAMA, so we make two five twenty one AAME. I bought ten shares at a price of eleven fifty seven. I sold I sold I sold them all. That price. All right, so I sold ten of them at eleven ninety six. So eleven, right? Ten of them at eleven point ninety six. Sorry, just take a little second. You can skip forward if you don't want to watch it. I just, I just put all the numbers in because I'm gonna calculate. So I actually made money on this trade. I made three dollars ninety three cents. Um, on the same trade, I bought another five at 1060, and then I sold five at the same, so 1196, 96, and whatever the numbers were, they were 96, 2, uh, 6, 6, 6, 7, made 6 bucks, 81 cents on them. Okay, next trade. I bought three AME on the same day, so 2 5 21 AME. What did I buy? I bought three. I bought them at 1097. 97 and 667. And I sold three at 1052. So that's going to be a loss of $1.37. Um, it calculates everything in, so it's already adjusting it up here. All right, next trade I bought on the eighth, so yesterday. So it's gonna be two dash eight dash twenty one. I traded NXTD. Yeah, that's the stock I was showing you guys I bought yesterday. So this is an open position. So for this one, I'm actually gonna put it up here, and this will also factor in my PNL. So. Two eight twenty one stock ETF. Oh wait, sorry, I don't put it here. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Two eight twenty one. Stock name is NXTD. NXTD. The shares I bought. I bought two of them. Um, the bought price or what price they pay from. So I paid from a dollar fifty-two. And how this works? So I put my price that I that I bought them for, but then I just put in the net price whenever I want to check. So the net price they were at is two thirteen, and it calculates my PNL open and it adds it all in here. So let's just say they went to five. Look at my look at all my stats here. You'll see that it will all, all move. So if they're five bucks. You know, I'm up six dollars, so it takes away from this. It moves up your cents and everything. I have an open P and L um, percentage, so that's how much all my money I would be. Um, obviously. So they're at two fourteen now. So boom, I'm up forty percent on them. Is that real? Yeah, yeah. That's how much I'm up. That's actually really, really good. And. They were up to 250. Anyway, this is probably taking a little while. Um, how long am I into this? Don't know. Oh, well. I have a couple more to put in here. So on 2 9, so today is the trades I took. 21. I had bought CHCI. So CHCI. I bought them for. How many shares did I buy? Three of them. 
I bought them at 13.46667. So 13.4666. What the hell? 13.46667. Jesus. Sold three. Not two. I have some technical difficulties today. Um, sold them at 13.07. So 13.07. Um, 667. So I lost a dollar 17 on that trade earlier, right? Let me go and show you guys. That's actually how much I did lose. Click. Um, here. What stock was it again? CHCI. I put them in. CHCI. Bam. Lost a dollar seventeen. See, so it's all it all works. Obviously, come back here. Other trade on today. So two dash nine dash twenty one. Cal. Oh, yeah. So I bought C A L V tab. I bought three of them for thirty-five ninety-five, so thirty-five point ninety-five six six seven. Why is it always six six seven? That's kind of weird. It's always like that. Oops. Keep getting emails from colleges. Um, and I sold three at a price of forty fifty. Yeah, forty point fifty. Well, I made 13.63 on that trade, and then the other trade I lost um, money on, so I'll show you that. Um, so I bought them at 43.56, exactly, 43.56. I sold one at a price of 42.86. Right, yes, 86. I lost 70 cents. And now I'm up to date with all my trades. So we're come up, take a look. Made some money back. Better than nothing. My account balance should be 232. Something doesn't seem exactly right here. Or is it? Something ain't seeming right. I don't think that's my account balance. Let me check. Balances. That is not my account balance. Uh oh. What did I do wrong? Must have done something. I don't think I made this much money on AAME. That's why. I think I did something wrong. Well, let's go check. AAME. So let's take a look. AAME24. So. So I bought. And there. Yeah, I made money on all of them. AME. I lost money on that one. Three. Let's check. AAME. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to go through off video. For some reason, something is not adding up here. Not too sure why. Um, exactly why it's not adding up. I had to put something in wrong, obviously. Oh, I think I, I found a problem. Yeah, this is not supposed to be 1060, it's supposed to be 1160, that's why. 1160. Um, sorry, this is taking a while. Well, it's still not adding up. I don't know what's wrong here. I'll definitely fix it up because it's always work. It always works, and it's always up to date perfectly. This is the first time it's actually not, so I'm not exactly sure what I did wrong here. Um, but yeah, so I can just show you. Click here. All right. I should be at. 
$212 as of today. It's going to be a little cut in real quick. I just figured out what I did wrong, um, why it's not adding up. So I bought 10 of these guys at $1,157. I did not sell them at $1,196. I sold them at $1,096. That's why it's not working. So $1,096. Two six 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 seven. There we go. And then I sold the other five at the same price. Ten ninety six. Uh, two six 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 seven. Now we come up. Yes, now it's up to date. There we go. So now that's actually how much I'm down. I made money back. I think. I definitely made money back. I didn't pay any more commissions because I didn't do any options. Um, I'm also going to show you if I add money to it, all I have to do is update my starting account balance. So let's say I add a hundred bucks. I'll just make this four, and it will change everything. Watch. So my current account value is now three twelve. I'm still down that much, and I'm still down this percentage. So it doesn't really affect anything. Anytime I add money, then I just add to it. And if I take money out, then I subtract it. So yeah, whenever I close this position, I'll put it down here and it will all be factored in nicely. But that's exactly how much I am. My account balance. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll grow that some more. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Obviously this video is a little confusing um, because I didn't see that I messed up here. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, have a good day.